glorious God, mighty God, wonderful God. Do we have enough names to describe him? We don't. Can we indeed describe him? We can't. He's way bigger than our brains. The little understanding that we have is far way outside of it. But let's appreciate God at all times. You are a child of God. Thank him. Bless his name. Today we are going to read Deuteronomy chapter 10, verses 11 and 12. Deuteronomy 10, 11 and 12. Then the Lord said to me, Arise, begin your journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. The special land, the special life. God has promised a special life to those who follow him. He said, this is the land that I gave as a promise. A life that God gives to you, which is a fulfillment of the promise that he gave to those who will follow him distinctively. Are you following God? There is a special life for you. A life that everything is provided for by God. This thing still looks like strange story. Can I live a life that God provides everything for me? Yes. That the things that I need, God will show me in my dreams, if he's not speaking directly. That the things that should happen to me, I see them before they take place, because Jesus had said the Holy Spirit will teach you the things to come, will show you the things to come. That everything that pertains to me is sorted out by God. That even when I fall into a trap, he's able to remove me from that trap because he has given me a special life, my own life. I am talking about the person who comes into that life that has been covenanted by God. Most of us don't realize that the life of the child of God is already covenanted unto God. It's an old promise that is being effected. So, he told Moses, look, move. Let these people understand that they are going into land because it is a covenant that I had already given and I am bringing it to pass. Somebody's covenant has already been activated. The unfortunate thing is that sometimes we don't realize it. And what does God expect of us? That we serve him, that we follow him diligently, that we walk according to his commandments, that we obey his instructions. I know that in our days today, we are not talking about commandments. Immediately you mention commandments, there are those who are going to condemn you. And they will tell you, you are being legalistic. There is some imaginary grace for them that covers everything. Because the real grace of God has come into the world, teaching us to live righteously in this world. And you cannot define righteousness outside of commandments and instructions. Anything that has no restriction, that thing is anarchy, and God is not involved in anarchy. That is why he took his time in the Old Testament to give ten commandments. In the New Testament, thousands of repetitions of things that command you, that enclose you, walk within the enclosure of God. He says, outside of this, you are heading to hell. And somebody will come and tell you, don't live within the commandments, live outside. You are getting to heaven. That fellow has a heaven you are going to. I am not talking about those ones today. I am talking about the child of God who realizes that God has given a special life to him or her. He said, what does the Lord expect of you so that you will serve him with all of your heart, with all of your might, with all of your soul, with everything within you. Do everything to serve him in the way that he desires. The scripture says, be careful. Our God is a consuming fire. Therefore, serve him acceptably, the way he accepts, not the way somebody has defined for you, not the way somebody says, I have a special revelation of the scripture and tells you what his devils tell him to say. Follow the scripture as is, as is, the way it is. Leave those crazy interpretations. The children of Israel messed up the arrangement. We are still messing up our own today. To what extent have you messed up your own? To what extent have I messed up my own? 
Can I turn around? Can you turn around? Yes, all of us, we can. Can I do better? And can you do better? Yes, we can. Don't persuade yourself and don't allow yourself to be persuaded to continue to do evil. Rather, persuade yourself and be persuaded to follow God distinctively, serving him with all of your spirit, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your power, with all of your existence. For you are supposed to live in a special life that God has given to you. Live in that life. Serve God distinctively. And he will distinguish you in every aspect of life, wherever you find yourself, however life turns. The best of God is for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.